At this point, I'd like you to all rise, if you don't mind, please, as we welcome California Attorney General Rob Bonta to the stage. Please sit down, please sit down. Good evening, everyone. Magandang gabi, how are you? Good to see you, mabuhay. And um, Rob Bonta, California Attorney General. You might know me better as the father of Reina Bonta, uh, who plays for the Philippine women's national soccer team and as we speak is preparing in Perth, Australia for a game tomorrow night against the Australian national team in front of 60,000 people. Uh, you might also know me by uh, some of the more popular Bantas, like Cynthia Banta, my mom, uh, who can't make it today, but recently turned 86 years old, uh, 86 years young, on October 9th. Um, or you might know me as Mia Banta's husband, Assembly Member Mia Banta, uh, who represents Oakland, Alameda, and San Leandro. But I, I'm honored to be with you tonight. I first want to say uh, thank you to TOFA. Uh, congratulations on 13 amazing years. I've been to a couple of these other events in uh, New York in the past. Uh, this one in California is way better. Uh, as, a, as a proud Californian, uh, <laughs> just, a, just a little uh, friendly, playful rivalry. Um, but I'm so, first of all, uh, congratulations to all the honorees. Thank you for inspiring, inspiring and being trailblazers and pioneers in your fields. Thank you for kicking down doors and breaking glass ceilings and creating opportunity, being uh, often where no Filipino American had ever been before. And that's what it's about for our community, to um, go to new places and uh, to write history, to pick up a pen and write history and, and do things that have never been done before. And thank you to TOFA for every year celebrating those who have been leading, uh, who are inspiring, who are doing, who are dreaming, who are innovating, who are changing. Uh, and that's what TOFA is about. So I, I'm proud to be here once again um, to share my support and pride in our Filipino-American community to uh, share in that inspiration as well. And uh, it's very appropriate that we're doing this during the month of October, Filipino-American History Month, the month that we celebrate our community, our history, our culture, our legacy. And my own Filipino-American history started uh, in the Philippines. And when I was two months old, uh, born in Quezon City in St. Luke's Hospital, um, my parents saw the rise uh, uh, of martial law coming and martial law imminent. So they brought me here, literally here, to Los Angeles and we lived in Echo Park. And then they started working for the United Farm Workers of America, uh, first here in LA and then in La Paz. And that's where I learned one of the most important lessons that, ever, that has always stayed with me. I saw them working side by side with uh, Filipino Americans and Latinos and others in a broad coalition fighting to make change. Uh, to say we can't accept the unacceptable and to right wrongs and challenge injustice. And I saw that they could help, uh, that everyday people working together could shape, change our fate and our future, could make people's lives better, uh, could make things be different if they were wrong, and that they did it when they were uh, working together, having each other's back, taking care of one another, looking after one another, locking arms and fighting together. So. Um, that stu stu uh, stuck with me and has always been something that's been a driving force. It's led me to become the first Filipino-American state legislator in the history of California. And <laughs> Thank you. And today, the, the honor and privilege of a lifetime to be the first Filipino-American attorney general in the history of California. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, and, and like so many of you who are firsts in, in your fields, um, it's important that we remind ourselves while we're the first, it's important that we commit to not being the last, that when we uh, kick down that door and open it, that we help hold it open and make sure that others can come through and others can participate in opportunity and their dreams and realizing their potential. Um, and so as uh, Filipino Americans, 
it's very important that we remember that, that Filipino history is California history. Filipino history is American history. We are California. We are America. And we have left an indelible mark on this country, on this state, um, on our future, as you can see from all the incredible leaders that have just been rightfully recognized for their incredible contributions. And we're just getting started. So let's keep pioneering, let's keep trailblazing, let's keep kicking down doors, breaking glass ceilings, and writing history together. Thanks for having me. Mabuhay. Breaking news, he is thinking about a run for California governor. He said I could announce it, so wow. Think about that. I just got goosebumps. That's breaking news right here, seriously.